So time here to do quickly a benchmark test between the S8 iPhone 7 Plus, the Sony Xperia XZ and the uh, G6 with the Enter 2 benchmark test which is available both on Android and iOS. So let's do this over here. Oh my god, I need to go into permissions. Oh my god. Oh my god, 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 okay. So, it is running here, it is running, it is running. Okay. When you're watching things, I gotta say, I mean, most phones, displays, I mean, as you see here, they all look very, very, very good. I'm gonna turn them around a little bit so you can get a little bit of a better view. These days, most phones have a decent display, but it's more about like uh, outdoor brightness and stuff like that that can be a little bit problematic. I can see that the iOS, the iPhone, I'm not sure if that one is the smoothest actually. That kind of looks like Sammy Boy is running the best, I think, here in, in this little test. Uh, for sure, something I can see here is that the Xiaomi phone has the easiest, best, most vibrant display out of all of these phones. And uh, this one it has the most border. This one kind of looks like it slows down sometimes, I think. Like, not a ma major thing, but sometimes it looks like it. And again, the G6 has the most boring display, I gotta say, to be honest. This is the Bessel phone. It's running very, very nice, though. So, let's see. There's no specific phone here that seems to be struggling a lot in this test, uh, which is good because it shouldn't, because all of these phones cost at least like 700 euros, or maybe you can get the exit for maybe 500 euros. Or 600. And then of course the the Galaxy S8 is the most expensive phone. I mean this one this one cost um, 830 euros. It's insane. It's not even the plus variant. So it's kind of strange. I can't. I'm, I'm kind of waiting for it. The new um, Sony phone this year, which is going to be the. Uh, uh, which is gonna be what phone is it gonna be? It's gonna be the Note. The Note is it gonna be the Note Eight or something? Because it was a long time ago. I had a Note phone with that pen. Uh, because first off, Samsung never released a Note Six. Note Five was never released in Europe. Note Seven had these problems. Uh, you know, it started to burn and all of that things. So that was kind of like a failure. This one doesn't want to rotate. That's so weird. Let's see, I'm gonna see if I have rotation on. Oh my god, the iPhone suck. <laughs> Seriously, I have to restart it. That is so silly. Okay, so I'm I'm gonna skip. Uh, part here when these are finished up I'm probably gonna skip the video uh, or I'm gonna fast forward it so you don't have to watch all of these things again that is so goofy oh my god I'm so sorry but then again you won't notice on the video so 70% on the as eight it's very good so they all are running this test very, very nice. Do, 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 do. The G6 and the S8. S8 is going to win. S8 is going to win. The highest score probably. I'm, I'm, I'm certain of it. Hmm. <laughs> It's gonna be nice with a new iPhone also this year. 
you know, new phones, sounds great. The iPhone, the iPhone. Now the iPhone looks like the slowest one, but it probably would be the fastest one if I wouldn't have messed up. Let's see, 92%. Okay, 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 so I'm finished. Ninety-five percent. The G six might take this one home because it's so close to the S eight. So close. Ninety-nine percent. Oh my god, the G six. Is it gonna take this one home? Kind of looks like it. No, it doesn't. Okay, hundred sixty-six thousand sixty-eight. Uh, score on the Atari 6. That's interesting. It's going to be so interesting to see what the XL is going to get. Oh my god! The G6 is getting 156,000. That is crazy. Is this one going to get 115,000? 200? 115,000? Oh my god! 140,000! Wow! The XZ is also getting extremely high. Wow, it's no joke, man. I mean, that phone is really good, but let's just uh, let's just uh, put them up in the order that they should be. So first, the Galaxy S8, the superior phone here. And uh, it's gonna be really interesting to see what the iPhone is gonna get. I might, I may not fast forward because it's not that far behind, I mean. Right now it says 65%. So let's see. Now it's doing the CPU test over here. Whoa, this phone is getting so warm, uh, especially up here in around the, the camera area here. Wow, oh my God. Why is it so warm? Okay, I'm not gonna fast forward because it, it's soon gonna be finished here. It's very, very nice. It's very nice. Hmm. This is kind of interesting how, you know, it, it's not really any big difference. I mean, 166,000, 140,000. You can see here that the, what Samsung mostly is superior on is 3D. 72,000. Uh, in terms of, I think this is UX, I think it's called user experience. 44,000. This one is actually getting higher. G6. 48,000, almost 49,000. That's very, very impressive. And that's something also that I've been seeing with uh, with Samsung. I mean, they kind of suck sometimes in the UI. You know, it's kind of glitchy on the S8. 44,681. This one also is getting higher. Yeah, I mean, I've been seeing really, really good performance in the user experience on the uh, on the X set. So that's pretty interesting. CPU Samsung is the winner. 38,000, 32, uh, but interesting scores we can find over here on RAM, the, the winner is the G6, and even the XZ is better than Samuel Boy. This one is best in gaming, for sure. And whoa, look at the iPhone. The iPhone is getting 137,000. You know, it's very, very close to the XZ. Uh, 47,000 in 3D, <laughs> Samuel Boy almost doubled, that's so crazy. But it's getting better in user UX, uh, almost 50,000 and uh, CPU is behind and the RAM is also a little bit behind. But yeah, I mean, that is interesting, I gotta say. I mean, I did not expect it to be uh, that close on all of them, but it's kind of cool there to know that thing. So let me know if you wanna see any specific video. And uh, yeah, now you know that. Have a great day.